I've got my crown. Do I need a hero to lift me off the ground? I built this hut. Hi, I'm Stacey Potts and we're here at All Is One Orphanage with V Africa. Today we're with the lovely Eula. Eula, hello and welcome to V Africa. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so today we're just going to talk a bit about yourself and also how you got to know about the orphanage. So explain um, where you're from and how you got to know about All Is One Orphanage. Absolutely. So originally I'm from San Diego, born and raised, but my family is from Sierra Leone, West Africa. My mother was born and raised in Freetown, King Tom. And I found out about All Is One through individuals within my community in Tacoma, Washington. Interestingly enough, my husband, who does food, was catering an event, which was a fundraiser for an orphanage of all places, Freetown, Sierra Leone. We attended the event. The board members realized or found out I was Sierra Leonean, and they looped me in and asked me to be a part of it. and started volunteering and fast forward I now serve as the chairwoman of the board and have been dedicated the last five years to the work. So is there quite a number of people back in the US that help out so the board members um, have they also been to Sierra Leone? Yeah the interesting thing is the founder Deanna Wallace was in another part of West Africa doing some mission work. She s realized that things were going extremely well and said, where else are their needs? And they said, well, there's Sierra Leone, but there's a war going on. That was the Blood Diamonds War, if people are familiar with that. She thought, well, what other time will there be orphans but in the middle of a war? So where everyone else was fleeing for safety, 2.7 million people, as you know, were victims of the war atrocities, this courageous woman came into Sierra Leone to start the All Is One Orphanage. She was then helped by Stephen Amara, they co-founded and developed 20 years ago the All is One Orphanage. So that's how I found out about it. There are others that are on the board. They're all from the states. I'm extremely impressed. My former mayor of the city of Tacoma, Mayor Brian Embersole, is on the board. His cousin Drew was the chairman. And Sherry Hammond, another colleague of mine, Autumn Hewitt, they all comprise the board today, and Elliot Rises. So each one of those individuals are committed to the orphans here at All Is One. But this is not your first time in Sierra Leone. Um, you, when did you arrive here in Sierra Leone? W when was your first time? So my first time, which I could recall as an older individual, I was 10. My mother had decided that, interesting enough, she felt like perhaps we didn't understand what, how to appreciate life to the fullest and we didn't understand what true hardship was. We grew up in San Diego, we didn't know what true hardship was. So she worked with our teachers, and for that school year got all of our books, me and my two sisters, and the three of us along with her, my mother, came to Sierra Leone for nine months. She essentially wanted us to be able to experience it. We also were in San Diego at a time where it was not advantageous to be African. All we saw is Tarzan and Jane, so it was nothing that, or Roots. So we weren't necessarily excited about it, but once we came here and got a chance to be able to meet our family, we got a chance, we had family everywhere. I remember telling my mother, who's not related to us? Because everyone was part of it. People had little to nothing, but they were grateful and happy. Individuals had resilience and fortitude I had never seen before. So for me, that time period is the most pivotal. I was 10 years old, but I remember it vividly as one of the best experiences I've ever had. And since then, I've had a new level of dignity and pride for our country. I value what this country and the individuals have gone through and overcome. And I recognize that it's their fortitude that allows them to be able to thrive no matter blood diamonds war, Ebola, nothing will hold these individuals back. And I, found, I am very proud of that. We're one of the poorest countries in the world, but we're rich in heart. So you spoke about coming here as a child, a 10 year old, and now you're here again, but you're here with other children here. So explain to us what today was about. Well, so I came here again, no, December last year, 2019. My uncle had passed away and we were at his funeral, but before he passed in November, he charged each one of us with giving back to Sierra Leone. Focus on family and close friends, but also to invest in the potential through the individuals of Sierra Leone. I've taken that to heart. 
There's a young man, actually, I will always remember me sitting over there, Eric Amara, as I was walking away. He wrote me a little note and said, will you take me home with you and be my mother? I wanted to cry. I have no children of my own. But he also said, we need, we need an Xbox. And I didn't tell him, but that was my reminder, I will come back, because he said the last person didn't bring it, <laughs> who promised it. So I wanted to make good on that. I also wanted to be able to come because my heart changed to a whole other level when I got a chance to meet these children. And I recognize that the depth of who they are has spurred me on to new levels to figure out what else I can do to help them achieve their goals and dreams. How is it for you though on the emotional side? Like, um, did these kids touch your heart? How was their um, experiences while receiving these? They are very warm and very loving, very well adjusted. Um, I love the fact that they will just come up and give big hugs. They're very giving. Um, they, they are quick to, to, to attach themselves. I love that. Uh, for me also to walk around and them share a little bit more about themselves and their talents. The first time I came, Tijan did a little rap and then, or a little song and then Santos did a little rap. And I felt like they really wanted to let themselves be seen. And I valued that because each one of them are extremely important to the world today and I know that they'll make a marked difference in the world in the future. I got Messiah, a strong survivor, don't need nobody here that don't believe in me, cause I was born. Hi, you mean as Susan, I am there with V Africa, all as one of an age. And I am there with my own sister, and my own brother. You can show your name please to people, eh? Hi, my name is Betty Mansai from All As One. Hi, my name is Eric Mara from All As One. I'm Eula Ramroop. I serve as a chairwoman of All As One Orphanage. Okay. Betty, you say you're not an actress. What do you make you want to be an actress? I like how people that they behave in the movie. They talking and I can, I can want to speak the English. <laughs> Wow, that's me. You best fan, you want the way they act, okay? Who's actor or actress where you see we make you one day side the game? Marcy Johnson and Ken Eric. Wow, Marcy Johnson and Ken Eric. Okay. Then I can't tell me you brought her back again. She your name please? Eric. Eric. Eric, you can tell people there's small team but yourself? Yes. Well me when I grow up I want to become a soccer player and a scientist because what you make I want to become soccer player because I'm a talent and what you see that you show on a AYV like a player that you play I can just wish like I make you play the game wow. then I can feel say what the the quality that you admire people that say this but I can't make you admire me that kind much one then about scientists now I want to become a scientist for story about the space out of the world. Okay. <laughs> if you admire but you want the way they play, okay? The way they see them at TV. Like who's one more way you admire at you want the old way they play. Who's one way you like who you put step where you want it? I'm Mohammed Salah. Wow, Mohammed Salah. <laughs> okay. Okay. And we can't tell you, madam, now so then picky they are say. Waiting a young advice or young talk towards that. Okay. I would advise that when you're going after your dream, don't let anything or anyone deter you from achieving it. The thing that's most important is that you make a decision, you stay committed to it, and you allow yourself to learn through the challenges to help strengthen your character. All it will do is help you to be able to achieve the role of being an actress one day and for you to be a scientist and a soccer player. So I think it's very important to be able to keep your eye on your dream and ensure as you're doing so, that you're enjoying life along the way. Okay. Thank you very much. And my name once more, Suzanne. I did out to be Africa, all as one orphanage. Thank you. Don't need a king. I've got my crown. Don't need a hero to lift me off the ground. I built this heart. It's beating loud. Don't need no bad blow to ever bring us down. Keep flying higher. Felt like a fighter, what if I'm everything that I was meant to be? I got Messiah, a strong survivor, don't need nobody here that don't believe in me. Cause I was born to be brave, I know who I am inside and I don't apologize. Made my mistakes and they give me wings to fly to my castle in the sky. I used to feel like I was lost. It like my 
life on the vacation was thumbed up. Borders the wood, I stumble on. That let me ride to the place where I belong. Keep flying, ay fly like a fighter. What if I'm everything that I was meant to be? A blessing fire that's getting brighter. Even the worst days will get the best of me. Cause I was born to be great. I know who I am inside and I don't apologize. Made my mistakes and they gave me wings to fly to my castle in the sky. Got my head down and let it go. Come on, and I want to show. Where I play all the view is go. for all as one academy and at the same time at the double as the active admin for the orphanage What are the benefits where you don't get towards the company? Teacher you only benefit nine away in the city the king way you don't teach the common family. I don't see Boku picking them more than teaching all as one where they don't come up fine. If you work, you get paid for it. But what you work for, you must see the outcome. Then you get So the success of them picking the world is very Okay. So how many years may this orphanage take? We're there in the 11th month. This Next month will make me one year. So out of that 11 months, eh? what are the income of the orphanage or waiting at the main thing of this orphanage? The income of the orphanage, we rely on donors. Waiting in the same, then with the work. The donors will provide feeding for the beginning and living for the outside beginning when they can. Now free education. When we don't start alone. Not a way government don't say no free education. We we'll don't start and see the year 2004. Nine free education at this particular organization we start. Apart from the orphans and within there, we extend that out to people them we not able to pay for them to do this. So the financial stand and not going exactly to tell you what it is saying, what thing they don't know able to do. I know we will tell you exactly, say, we are a billion strong or a million strong. But well, I just want to tell you something, we are strong. That's me. I'm not. They take up the money. Yes. Now they don't know what they're saying. We now work. What thing they able to get the saying, now within that finance, we will work. We know we will work outside of what they get. Now only what you say now is what you need. Okay. So let us ask Christopher, how many teachers then they inside this orphanage? And how you see the teachings they go on? Um, we get from class one to class six. And each class get one teacher. So looking at that, we get six teachers who will work. Besides the aunties. And uh, the outcome of any school, it depends on the national result we can come out when people don't sit national exams. The school be done, they always perform well. So, how the teacher they work? I would say it will go good. Work. Now, only when result come up bad, now we we'll go back to the drawing board and ask yourself what happened. Yes. So far, so good. We know we not disappoint the public yet, and we don't make the parents feel bad. They begin to feel proud when they attend here, and when they come here, going to secondary school, then they measure up. So we're glad. So, what do you want to tell the people out here about this orphanage? The orphanage they exist for take care of 
the kingdom when a rare offer. And sometimes, not in all cases, sometimes, some of picking the way the farm will then get financial challenge. They're not able to take care of them picking it. Before you will go to where, or you do other things, we go make that picking the end in life, they can come to the aid and take care of it. We groom and up here for you. So, to the public at the tribe hotel, say now, all as one day, Although we know we don't take that front position, as our other orphanages can want to do, they want to make everybody know about them. But we did behind the scenes. We did collect the remnant. Then one day where they know it will collect, we did collect them. So you will not know now, know that now and take advantage of the situation that we there for them. And um, what do you expect from these young kids in the future? Is there anything you would like or hope for them to do or be? Well, I asked them earlier what their dreams were, so various ones, doctor, lawyer, physician, surgeon, physician, musician, actress, and what I really want them to do is just fulfill their potential. I think that the fact that they do so, so well here at this school and the, the, the support that comes from Dubai and from uh, the states and individuals who want to see them succeed, Peter and the work he does here, really will help them to be able to accomplish what their hearts strive for. And so I want them to be able to not be just a statistic, but to be able to then not only make the life better for their own selves, but turn back and help others. This country has a lot of potential, and I hope that they will recognize that and see that they too can give back in a greater way. Thank you very much, Yula, and thank you again for inviting us today. I'm sure the kids are all happy as well, and, and they're all looking as well and learning as well, so thank you very much. Yes, well, I hope they enjoy their gifts, and thank you and Zach for coming out to be able to do this work and to be able to help support even just creating more awareness of what's happening here at All is One. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is Stacy and Eula for V Africa. A strong survivor, don't need nobody here that don't believe in me. Cause I'm